of town take one final review of the Mego Wave 8. I've run into several problems with this wave, but we got one that everyone has been waiting on. The hide, uh, <laughs> the fly. Um, this one I've been waiting on for a good time. Uh, for some reason, the tie is ridiculous. I'm sorry. Looks like Jerry's, uh, uh, Jerry from Seinfeld. His, uh, his coat, if you get me. <laughs> I mean, come on. It is weird. Uh, Ab sculpted. It's got some silver. Good eyes. Let's see. Uh, packaging looks it looks good. Uh, they put Legends of Horror part because let's do the uh, Monsters of Legend uh, Tomlin figures uh, and stuff. Let's see. Everything looks okay. Get rid of that. It does not exist. As I say again. There's the fly. There we go. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open and take a look inside. We got. Hi, uh, the fly out of his packaging. It's stiff, but okay, I gotta worry about this. Okay, so I'm trying to tell if this thing's posable. Okay, it seems the claw is not posable. It seems like it's sculpt. I thought it was posable, so I'm a little bit disappointed there, but it is what it is. But I remember back in the day we voted on the tie color, it was supposed to be black, but. Yeah, it looks ridiculous. Come on, it looks like a joke. <laughs> this 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 tie. So I'm gonna have to replace that myself. Uh, he comes with these uh, shoes, blue pants. There he is, the fly. This is one of the Mego figures. Uh, most a lot of be a lot of people have been waiting on or expecting it because it was a it was a cool surprise. So he took that fly shirt in. Let's see, let's take a look. At the head sculpt. Uh, it doesn't say who made it, but here it is all the way around. There's gonna be a lot of people customizing this because, yeah, it needs better clothes, uh, in my opinion. He has a black body. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, dyed. Hopefully not, because I don't want the uh, dye to seep into the clothing of this figure, so hopefully it doesn't do that. For some reason, this figure is tight. I've noticed this with a lot of the new Mego figures, this particularly Wave 8, uh, it seems stiff. But yeah, he's, he's, uh, I don't know, there's something off about it, I don't know. There seems something about it, I don't know, maybe the, cl the clothing, I think the pink tie is throwing me off. The, this pink tie is not good. Uh, his mouth is a bit open, there's a little open space in there, as you can tell. It just seems a bit stiff. So that is, uh, maybe because of the clothing, I'm not sure, but this is cool. Let's take, let's take one of our Reagan figures. There's a comparison and stuff. So yeah, that is a fly. Um, score this figure? Hmm. I'm going to give it a 7 out of a 10, to be fair. Uh, I wish the clothing was a bit better. It's, this figure seems tight. I'm, I'm worried about breaking it, to be honest. So, um, I don't want to have that to worry about, but that'll be interesting. So, this is the Migos Fly. It's pretty cool. Uh, this figure seems more like a $10 figure than $15, to be honest, in quality. But that is Migo the Fly. Okay, guys, that's my review on Migos the Fly. If you enjoyed this video, please like, button, subscribe. Goodbye.